All right, we're picking up with our guest cottage where we left off. Uh, currently, we have all of our walls in, interior and exterior, uh, with all of our windows and doors placed in. What we now want to do is label those windows, doors, and even our rooms. We're going to be putting text on our drawing, so we want to make sure that we are in the text layer. I don't have a text layer currently. Let's create a new layer and call it text. And, oops, missed that one, T-E-X-T. And I want to make that layer cyan. For our text in AutoCAD Web, we need to set up our properties uh, for our text style. Simplex 0.25 is really only a quarter of an inch tall. Uh, these other values, half of an inch, three inches, four and a half, and six, and 12, are standard sizes that they give us. For our room labels, we're going to use the Simplex 6. Again, in CAD, whenever you type, you want to keep all caps. You're going to go to the Annotate tab, click on the Text button, and we'll draw ourselves a little text box over here by clicking uh, the top left and bottom right of that rectangle. Our room down here in the bottom is called Living slash Sleeping, so L-I-V-I-N-G slash Sleeping. And you'll notice that it says that it's a six inch text height and we can hit our check mark to uh, complete that text. We'll move this around later once we kind of figure out where things go. But right now, this looks like a good spot. I'll put in more text up here in our bathroom by typing in bath. And then last but not least, we'll put in uh, our closet. We're gonna move these things once we put our furniture in, our plumbing fixtures, uh, and our electrical plan. So currently right now, we'll just leave them as is. The next thing that I wanna place in is a door label. Uh, our door labels are going to have superscript. Superscript is similar to an exponent, and so we're gonna have like a 3-0, talking about how wide our door is. Three feet wide, zero inches tall. We're gonna change our text height to Simplex 4.5 for our foot value. So I'm going to put a little text box in here and only type in a 3. The O that's going to go up here similar to that exponent will be the letter or the number 0 uh, and that denotes how many inches we have. So 3 feet 0 inches. That 0 if it's going to be a little bit smaller needs to be a smaller text height. I want it to be smaller than 3 though so I need to put in a known text height of 2.5 inches. I'm just going to keep my text box here at four and a half, but when I place in my zero, I'll make sure that it is in this box only two and a half inches tall. Now I just need to kind of move it in place to where it looks like it is a little exponent up above my three. This three foot zero or three O represents how wide my door is. In an elevation, I could denote how tall my door is, but this tells me my door opening. Instead of me putting in a 2-O up here and a 2-O over there, I'm gonna highlight and copy this 3-O up above and all the way over here. I will now double click the three, make it a two, and just change the value of my feet. I don't wanna have to reset up a new text height and place it about the same. I can copy those around and it keeps the formatting the same. Next we want to add in some labels for our windows. Uh, these windows here, uh, this one and these three are all the same type. We're gonna call that window type A. And this one up here, it's its lonesome little self, is gonna be window B. We need to put in some text and a circle around the text for our window um, character, right, or our window label. I'm gonna keep the same four and a half inch text height and draw myself some text that has just the letter A in it. Around that A, I'm gonna draw a circle that has a nine inch diameter. Draw, circle, this one here is currently giving me my radius. I could do D enter for diameter and type in nine. Move your circle to where it surrounds your A and it's centered. Right about there. 
In normal AutoCAD, I can select my text and instead of having a top left justification, I can choose a middle center and I can make it perfect. In AutoCAD web, we don't get to do that. So I'm gonna use this blue dot and try to line that thing up centered. Let me turn off polar and O-Track. I'll get it centered about there. And then I'll turn back on polar and I'll move it straight down to where it appears that I'm about centered inside of that circle. For me to move this into location, I'm gonna move it, both the text and the circle, from the circle center to not on this midpoint, but directly below the midpoint by eight inches. I think eight inches is a good spacing away from our window. I'm gonna copy this one from the window's midpoint all the way across. And um, I need to kind of move it up over to this side, but I wanna be eight inches to the left. So instead of copying from the midpoint of the window, I'll copy from the center of the circle. Mouse over this midpoint, use my extension, and come over eight inches. I'm also gonna place the same one eight inches above this window, but as we talked about earlier, we wanna call this one B. So I'll go in, highlight this A, double click, make it a B, and now I need to move it into place. My circle is exactly eight inches above this midpoint, but my letter B is a little off center. So again, I'll highlight, turn off polar and O-track, and I will barely move it down and to the right just a little bit. This is the text and labels for our cottage. In the next video, we'll cover the dimensions.